Hey Creepers, welcome back to House of Ghasts Paranormal Investigations. Uh, tonight we're going to do something a little different. I've decided to do a story time. Um, I thought it'd be a good way for me to get to know you guys a wee bit more, you guys to get to know me. Um, so just before we begin with what the idea of this video is going to be about, some videos of me being MIA. Um, these last few weeks have been a little bit of a struggle. I've had a little bit of uh, creator's block. I just want to also mention obviously Christchurch is a little town city and there is quite a lot that has happened here but I have discovered that if I just jump straight into it and record all these videos and get them out here there's not going to be enough content to go around. So what I have been doing is has been looking into uh, haunted items. Um, it led me to dolls and I've been looking up dolls these last few weeks and I have purchased a couple but it also reminded me about a doll that had come into our family. So tonight's story is about um, this mysterious doll that appeared. Some of you may or may not know that when I was younger um, in May 12th 1994 uh, our family house caught a light and was on fire. We were in that house when it happened um, that was our family home. It was me, my mum and my younger brother and younger sister. It was early hours of the morning and I was in the kitchen and I could smell this funny smoke smell. I went and told my mum and unfortunately my mum didn't think I was serious and when she did decide to come and check it out, unfortunately it was a little too late. And also I remember her telling us to get out. And as we were getting out, I will never forget the noise of all the windows exploding behind us. It was a pretty scary time. The whole house lit up on flames. The front half of it, it started in my bedroom and the front half of the house was completely damaged, demolished. Just a year before we could get back into the house, that had to be rebuilt. And so we moved to another part of um, town and I went to school for um, a whole year at a whole different school and some of my classmates didn't know that and then I came back a whole year later. So yeah, so whilst we, were, we had moved out and gone and lived with our Nana for a while as well, um, unfortunately we had lost everything, we lost all our toys, we lost most of our clothes, um, we lost all of our furniture, uh, a lot of it had to be donated to us because we didn't have, uh, have anything. Um, some of the stuff was salvageable, but it was smoke damage. So we were lucky that some of the stuff in the back half of the house we could retrieve. Uh, so in amongst all the donated stuff and the donated toys, there was this random doll here that appeared. And I had put her in this wee bag. I'll explain a little bit more how we came about this doll and coming up with this idea of the story. So this doll here, you may not see it. I'll try and get it a wee bit closer for you just appeared randomly um, in a box of toys and it's always been in our toy box. So it's been about I don't know, 26, 27 years ago since the house fire happened. Um, this doll my mum still had when I was coming up with the idea for this video. I said to my younger sister, I was like, do you remember that little plastic doll it had its finger in its mouth? And she was like, yeah, 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 I think mum still got it. So uh, the other weekend we went down to visit my mum and we raided through one of our old toy boxes that have been used for her grandchildren, my nieces and nephews. Um, and thankfully it was still in there. So I decided to bring it home and um, I find it rather strange that we've had this doll still lying around for that long. It's managed to be here, there and everywhere. Uh, never really played with it. I did, yes, I will admit it, play with Barbies when I was younger. I used to play with my younger sister, keep her occupied. And this doll was always in her Barbie house. It was kind of creepy, we didn't really use it, it just was there. So I have looked into these types of dolls, I've been looking online. Um, they're not very common. I did find that there was some weird name for them. Can't remember it, I'll insert it, or put it up on the screen for you. These dolls are only made in Japan and Germany. When I was talking to my mum about it, she had mentioned that they used to be at fairs. So you'll go to a, a fair or a carnival and some of the prizes that you would win for um, playing their games would be a doll. And these dolls used to be dressed and knitted like hats and dresses. They are strange. <laughs> I do find it a little creepy as eyes are just looking into nothing. Um, I don't know what the story is. I don't know who had this before us. So I thought I would investigate tonight and see if 
something will come through if it is haunted or not haunted. I'm not expecting it to be. I don't feel like there's anything bad from it. Um, but it would be interesting to see if we can uh, find out who may have owned it before us or if it had been in another family. Yeah, so I'd like to know if it's got a name, if it is um, possessed. And I'm just looking at my candles here. They have slowly moved. So I'm just going to straighten those up. I'm going to keep an eye on that, guys. Um, that's a little strange. So in this process, I have purchased a couple of dolls. They will be for another video. I don't know if they're haunted or not either. They are similar to these kinds of things. I wanted to start little and see if there is any haunted items out there. I have been surfing the net. It's really hard to sort of determine what's legit and what's not. And I'm also going to try something out new tonight. I'm going to use a pendulum uh, instead of the EMF uh, app tonight. I just wanted to try and change things up a little and I have seen a couple other videos being done with one and I thought it would be quite interesting to see if anything happened with it through my video. I'm going to get this set up. I have got a second camera um, sitting here as well to have a better view of the pendulum just to show you guys that I'm not moving. Um, I'm going to try and be as still as possible. Of course it is kind of impossible to be completely still but I do have a little board here and I will swing it over top of this. Unfortunately you guys might not see um, what's on here so it's got uh, yes and no so Y and N. The no's are left to right and I'll ask the pendulum to move left to right for no answers and back and forward for yes answers. I'm just going to use it to see if there is anything here. Uh, once I have determined whether there is or not, I'm going to try the EVP um, app, which is Necrophonic, and see if anything wants to come through there. And if they do, I have got plans to uh, dispose of this doll or contain this doll, and that will be on a completely different video as well. So yeah, so make sure that you guys like and subscribe, and we'll get started. This is my pendulum, and I'm going to try and get this as still as possible before we start and I'm going to ask a few yes or no questions um, if it swings quite violently then obviously there is some activity here or a spirit of some sort but I'm just going to try and keep this as still as possible to begin with I might put my elbow on the table to help steady it a little bit more too I'm just going to let it settle Okay, obviously I am stirring up something. These candles were severely, like, quite sturdy on here. I am going to take them away right now. And we'll snuff this out. Excuse me for one second, guys. That was a little creepy and we haven't even started yet, so I think I might just leave those because they might be a bit dangerous. <laughs> Don't want to set the house on fire. So I am going to get back to this here. I'm going to let this pendulum settle and keep it as sturdy as possible. And then we'll concentrate and I'll ask the first questions. If there's anyone here with us tonight, please answer by using this pendulum. I have a yes or no board. Swing left and right for no answers and swing backwards and forwards for yes answers. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Wow, do you see that going, guys? That's swinging backwards and forwards ever so slightly. Is this doll possessed? Wow. 
Wow, I don't know if you see that guys, but it's swinging quite hard out. Baby's and Paul's saying yes. I'm just gonna neutralize it again and ask that question again. I'm just gonna let it settle. Is this doll possessed? Wow, okay, so it's saying yes. I'm just gonna let it neutralize again. Was it you that knocked over the candles before? Wow, so it's going backwards and forwards to yes. Let's it again. Are you here with us right now? Are you here with us right now? Swing the pendulum to left or right, or backwards and forwards. There we go, it's going yes. Are you a child? Oh, saying no. It's going backwards, uh, left and right. Wow, I can feel energy off this, guys, and the string's not quite straight. It feels like it's being pulled more to the right, or my right, which will be your left. Let's go get neutralized again before I ask the next question. Are you a good energy? I'm barely even moving and this is just going nuts. The minute I ask questions, it's completely answering. And it's getting faster. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wow, I just felt a jolt. You probably just saw my arm move. It's quite a bit of an energy feeling, heavy energy that I'm feeling right now. I've been avoiding this a little bit um, this week. Recording and having dolls here and stuff, it's been a little bit creepy. Um, but I'm glad that I'm sitting here tonight with you guys, because you can, as you can see, this is still swinging left and right to no. So this is not a good energy. I am going to stop right here with the pendulum and I'm going to begin the necrophonic and I'm going to ask some more questions and see what happens. Necrophonic. Cool, so I've just got the necrophonic started now. I'm going to ask the first question and make sure you guys really listen. If you hear anything that I don't hear, please make sure you leave a comment with it and I'll go back and listen. Um, so yeah, here we go. To the energy that's with us here tonight, what is your name? What happened to you? Where did you come from?
Do you have anything you want to tell us? Am I in any kind of danger? Can you tell us the name of the person that used to own you? Do you have any bad intent towards me? Can you tell me what town you lived in? Are you a boy or a girl? Have you been making noises in here over the last few nights? Did you switch my sound system off last the other night twice in a row? Where do you come from? What is your story? Why have you attached yourself to this doll? Have you got anything you'd like to tell me? Wow, I just got a really cold shiver, guys. This is quite weird. Goosebumps. Did you knock over the candles earlier? Did you not like the candles going? Have you been watching me at night time? Have there any other spirits here with us tonight? How many of you are here with us? The, first, the spirit that's talking to me, are you attached to this doll?
Well, guys, so I'm going to stop that here. Who was here with us tonight, you're not welcome to stay here. The house is protected. Please go into the light. You're not welcome here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to finish it up here. There was a little bit of um, activity coming through on the microphonic. Hopefully, there's a few things there that I can listen back to. Um, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends, and we'll see you guys on the next one.